In this video, I'm going to give you an apples to apples direct comparison between the subject tracking and image quality of the DJI Mini 4 Pro available for $950 with the RC2 controller and compare it to the very cheap DJI Neo available for $200. So it seems like an unfair match, right? But you will be very surprised. So saying, hang on to this very revealing video about the performance of these two machines. So the DJI Mini 4 Pro is their top of the line sub 250 gram. And the performance is really identical to the cheaper Mini 3 Pro. So this should be helpful for you Mini 3 users as well. The DJI Neo is their latest and greatest. And right there, it is a hand launch. So basically I launched the Mini 4 Pro with the controller, put it in my backpack, and the Neo I just hand launched right there. So you're seeing the big video is the Mini 4 Pro, and you can even see the, the Neo flying behind me. And inset on the upper right corner is the video of the DJI Neo. So both video qualities are unedited right here is the dji neo in full screen so you can see so the quality is virtually identical the the over boost the sharpness of the neo was was tuned down one or two notches and the brightness as well and this is really how you should run the neo uh, it's a little bit over boosted initially but if you set it uh, turn it down a little bit it uh, this is the output and it's virtually identical to the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Both are 4K and the Mini 4 Pro has better light sensitivity, better dynamic range. So right here, top and bottom, so you could get a better comparison. So the quality is very close to each other. Okay, so the big difference is the Neo Quad, follows the subject much closer. This is on medium height and medium distance, adjustable to low, medium, high. So as far as tracking is concerned, the Neo does a much better job because you can see the subject much better, uh, more detail because it's closer to the subject. And why it's able to do this is because it's not afraid of obstacles or hitting uh, the rider or other people, other objects in in view uh, because it's so uh, small and uh, with protected blades uh, it's able to uh, fly much closer and you can even fly closer than this but medium medium seems to be a, a good uh, experiment so dji neo right here and now we're going to go for speed i'm riding an e-bike that can go about 28 miles an hour and here I'm about doing 25 miles an hour, 20 to 25 miles an hour, and it's able to follow. It can sustain about 21 miles an hour, the Neo. Uh, beyond that, it uh, it's gonna lag until it can't see you anymore. All right here, so I'm turning very fast. This is tough for the Neo, but it's hanging on, so not bad, huh? So this is the real strength of the Neo, and we're doing some wide open spaces right there i'm going so fast that the uh, neo couldn't keep up the mini 4 pro passed me so there's the mini 4 right there and then the neo will do its job catching up and right there it's got some pretty good breaks so to stop and not hit me if it hits me it's not the end of the world it's a 130 gram uh, with a protective cage all right before we move on to our next experiment by the way, I just caught the Neo with my hand. The Mini 4 Pro, I have to whip out a controller. Uh, and then either land it or grab it. So, advantage Neo for ease of flying and landing. All right, here I'm going to show you some modes of the Neo. This is the, the droney mode. And here is the circle mode where it circles the subject 
and notice how close it is. And this is really a strength of the Neo. You can even go closer, you can go farther. It's all adjustable with a phone, but you can see the subject much better. And here is the rocket mode. Now when you don't use a controller with a Neo, it cannot go very far, maybe 50 feet, maybe 60 feet. So if you wanted some uh, really uh, bird's eye view perspective, uh, advantage goes to the Mini 4 Pro. All right, so now we're gonna do another experiment. The real strength of the Mini 4 Pro is it has a, a follow mode called auto. Uh, auto uh, will allow the Mini 4 Pro to decide which angle to follow from. It's just gonna dance around you. And this is really used for wide open spaces. When it's tight, it's almost unusable because it gets stuck behind trees uh, and, and gets lost. But still, Mini 4 Pro with, with auto, it's a beautiful thing, but with obstacle avoidance allows it to do it, but it's still not foolproof. Uh, in in uh, my previous attempt here, it hit that tree uh, with those, uh, uh, those branches with the missing leaves. But right here, a very cool advantage because now you get some different perspectives. You see me, you see the front of the bike, the side of the bike, not just the back. So uh, the auto is really the core strength of the Mini 4 Pro with all its obstacle avoidance uh, and different features. And right here, uh, it does really well and I'm gonna show you uh, high speed and I'm gonna try to lose the drones uh, because this is a common problem. All right there, I'm bouncing around about 25 miles an hour and I'm gonna go on a big sweeping curve. Look at the Neo on the upper right and right there, I went out of frame for just a second because I was turning hard and it lost me. So look at the upper right, uh, the Neo uh, is now lost. It's basically just stuck in place uh, and it's not following me anymore. All right, now the Mini 4 Pro got lost too because I, I went on a steep angle uh, and it, it both drones are stuck. Here's the key difference. With the Mini 4 Pro, I go back in frame, but it doesn't recognize me. It doesn't have that AI, it doesn't have that logic. But right there, I do the same thing to the Neo and it picks me right back up. And that is a really, really good strength of the Neo. Once you come back into frame, uh, it's gonna recognize you again and start tracking you again. The Mini 4 Pro, you are it's dead in the water. And the only way you can Resume tracking is you have to whip out the controller. Uh, stop tracking and to uh, re-engage it, you have to restart tracking, uh, point on the subject. So there you go. I hope you found this comparison useful and we'll have more content in the near future comparing these two.